up, everybody? So we're back talking some more Harley Quinn Season 4 with the channel Episode 9. Now, if you know if you watched my review for last week's episode, you would know that Episode 8 wasn't exactly my favorite episode of the season. No hate to Bane, Nora Freeze, and etc. But it was just an okay episode. So I'm glad that everything got back on track in Episode 9 with some really awesome stuff in this episode. Other than the fact that the majority of the episode is in black and white thanks to Blex blocking out the sun. So obviously, that's the plan this week. Everyone putting their heads together to try and stop Lex Luthor, but it isn't that simple because Ivy is weak since there's no sunlight, which means she doesn't really have much power, and randomly out of the blue we have another Harley Quinn on the scene. That was something that caught me off guard, just seeing two Harleys in the same scene. The best part of this is the explanation because it isn't a hallucination or anything. Turns out a few episodes back when we saw that hair that dropped onto Gordon's baked potato, it was actually Harley's hair and you had that microwave slash cloning machine so now there's a copy of Harley Quinn running around that is a small part potato. Not gonna lie, at first I kind of did like this Harley Quinn clone that's partially a potato. She seems kind of friendly, willing to help out Harley and Ivy take down Lex Luthor, but it definitely gets very confusing trying to differentiate the two when everything is black and white. I mean, I feel like that is purposefully so, because even Ivy can't tell the two of them apart, and the two Harley clones try to trick her into thinking one is the other. In a way, it feels like the show is priming us up for that exact same situation later, when there's two Harleys and you can't tell the two of them apart. Poor Ivy, by the way, trying her hardest to persevere and take down Lex Luthor, even though she has pretty much no energy since there's no sun, she's getting all of her nutrients to just function from these IV shots. If there is a bright side, she goes for the more business aspect route to try and take down Lex Luthor since she can't physically take him out. Why not go the business route lobbying to gain support from all these various villains to vote Lex Luthor out as the CEO? And she does get almost enough votes to do it. One one last vote and she's got to put a lot of effort in to go to the golf range but obviously Lex Luthor is going to be there too to try and stop that from happening and there is some petty squabbling on the golf course trying to get this old man's vote and it seems like everything is finally going in Ivy's favor she's won the vote over celebrating with a drive to just kind of dig it in a little bit deeper and speaking of digging in a little bit deeper I was astonished that she does that line drive and it goes right in that old man's eyeball and kills him instantly. Low-key, with so much stuff going on these past few weeks, whether it's Lex trying to destroy the world, we went back in time last week to see the lead-up to that with Bane and King Shark in them, then you had Ivy and Harley going into the future, I kind of forgot about the whole mystery involving Nightwing and who potentially murdered him. Thankfully, we do finally circle back to that, and the reveal of who killed Nightwing does not disappoint. Turns out, the big reveal of who killed Nightwing was Harley did it. During one of her many sleepwalking incidents, she strangled him to death, which sounds about right with how slowly we've seen her sleepwalking get worse and worse. I guess the worst it could be is you murder someone, murders one of your close colleagues. And if there was any doubt that the clone was telling the truth, we get the further confirmation when Harley goes to talk to Psycho, and we go inside of Harley's mind to see those memories, and we get to actually see it physically happen. Now, this entire situation, there was something that did kind of bother me, and that is the fact that Harley calls up the Flash to help her get out of Dr. Psycho knowing this secret by going back in time five minutes, and he, of course, obliges, but I don't know why you wouldn't just use that ability to go back a week and just stop Lex Luthor from shooting off this laser whatsoever. I mean, I'm sure there's maybe some time travel rules applied, but I feel like the more important thing would have been to go back, and we wouldn't have to deal with this situation whatsoever. Honestly, they could have gone back to stop Harley from killing Nightwing. That also could have solved some problems there, but that's kind of just the issue of time travel at large. Of course, there are ripple effects when you go back in time, but the ripple effects of them going back and changing this event was pretty hilarious to me. Instead of Ivy killing this guy with a line drive to the face, instead you have a whole ass golf club just impale him from butthole to mouth. Just when you feel like all hope is lost since that guy died and now the vote is now tied at six to six, I don't know how the voting process works legally, but I guess you can get a vote still if your widow votes for you because the guy's widow goes and votes in his place. And because of that, she gets the votes to vote Lex out as the CEO. 
The way that we end this week's episode, however, is insanity. This is going to be something we're going to be talking about all week long. It's the Harley on Harley all out brawl where Barbara has to guess which one of these Harleys is the real Harley. I died laughing though because of course Barbara gets the right answer. But when fake Harley gets chucked off the building, she splats on the ground and turns into a giant mound of mashed potatoes. <laughs> then just when it seems like everything is cooled down and we're having this intimate discussion between Harley and Barbara because it sounds like Harley Harley doesn't want to be a hero after all. Joker just rolls up out of nowhere and just shoots Barbara and dips out. Very similar to the killing joke. I have to wonder if we're setting up Barbara to become Oracle now. But who knows with this show? I mean, they killed off Nightwing, so maybe they kill off Barbara Gordon too instead of giving her this Oracle role. But yeah, what a wild episode this was. From mashed potato clones to Barbara getting shot by Joker. Just a lot of chaos and a lot of stuff to talk about in the comment section down below. So once you get a chance to check out the episode, make sure you share your thoughts down below. How did you feel about episode 9 of Harley Quinn season 4? Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? How are you feeling about all the revelations this week? From the Harley Quinn mashed potato clone to the reveal that Harley killed Nightwing. Then concluding with Batgirl being shot by Joker. Either way, show your thoughts in the comment section down below. Because part of the fun is having that conversation with you guys in the comment section. Thank you guys as always for the videos. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you like on the video and also subscribe to the channel to update reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.